Well, just minutes ago, the Spokane Park Board voted on a last-ditch effort to keep the carnival rides in Riverfront Park. The resolution called for hiring outside consultants to decide whether or not those attractions would fit into the park's new look. And moments ago, they voted to hire those consultants. Jack Ferris, uh, working for you tonight, he's there at the meeting. And Jack, how much are these consultants going to cost? Great question, Nadine. And my response to that, unfortunately, is that it's complicated. Earlier this week, there was talk of setting aside $25,000 for those consultants. But earlier this afternoon, just before the vote, there was talk of maybe saving some money, doing it all in-house and spending less than $25,000. So I don't have a concrete answer for you now, but I do, I can tell you that Riverfront Park may just have carnival rides after all. Watching it grow has been a joy. And it's still growing, which is even a greater joy. Marion Herzer has called Spokane home for years. And like many others, the carnival rides are linked to her past. My children, when they were very young, had a great glee going down to River Run Park almost every weekend. Today's initiative to set aside $25,000 for an eight-week study on whether or not the attractions would work in the new park put new wind in the sails of those hoping to see the rides today. However, there were certain board members who didn't think the proposal made a lot of sense financially. Throwing this money after some rides that we've already made a decision on is not a good use. The rides were not part of the original park renovation plan laid out several years ago. And I would just like to not start chipping away at that plan. I'd like to stick with the plan. Um, there's lots of flexibility to do a lot of things in the future. Both city officials and the public have also pointed out that the new park have a certain aesthetic look that the carnival rides simply don't match. There are plenty of ideas for recreational activities, but many think the rides of yesteryear have had their time. We can point to all kinds of cool innovations that we've done to, to maximize the dollars that we've been able to spend on, on awesome features in the park. So, so that, you know, just on that basis alone is reason for me not to support it. All right, Nadine, I'm going to recap for you here. The uh, park board is made up of 11 members. The Parks and Rec director, Leroy Eady, does not vote. The vote went by a count of 7 to 3, but not before all 11 members spoke. Reporting from Riverfront Park in front of City Hall, Jack Ferris, KXOY4 News. Thank you for that, Jack.